Hi everybody, this is Lorenzo from RedCapital.com and today I want to show you how to use the step factor in a Cinema 4D. Let's get started! So here we are in a Cinema 4D and first of all let's create a disk. Then, if you like we can switch the orientation for example plus X. Then, We need to increase the rotation segments like 120 and these segments like 20. Alright, so select disk and let's go to the MoGraph menu and let's create a new cloner. Select disk and make us a child of the cloner object. Right, select cloner, select py like 0. Right now, select count like start like 1. Then let's go to the 10 lamp seconds and select 300 frames or 10 seconds and select count like one and add a new frame and select 300 frame or 10 seconds then increase count for example 75 and add a new frame again right now select cloner let's go to the menu again and let's create a new step effector right select scale like negative one then if you like we can drag the spline object so we can change the this size and check on rotation right then select zero frame and add the new keyframe for example rh and rb then select 300 frames or 10 seconds select rh like 360 degrees and rb like 360 degrees again and add the new keyframe Right now, select spline like and the new keyframe, then set 160 degrees, increase the spline and add the new frame. Right now, let's create a new camera. Select coordinates like RP like zero and RH like 180 degrees. Then, if you like, we can add some can frames and drag a little bit of view and so we can add a new frame Right now, double click and let's create a new material. Uncheck color, uncheck reflection, and switch on luminance. 
and let's go to the texture and select Fresnel. Right now, select the first color, for example, like yellow. And red <clears throat> then it would be like say like like color like blue and light blue All right, now double click and let's create a new material again. Then uncheck refra refraction. Let's go to the color. Let's go to texture and select gradient. Select type like 2D circular. Select color like violet and white for example then let's create a new background and add a new color new material All right now let's go to the render settings and select pin video and hdtv frame range all frames Then select the path and uh, select format like quick time movie and select anti aliasing like best best settings. Right now let's go to the effect tab and add ambient occlusion. Alright, select accuracy like 100%. Then select Minimal samples like 35 and maximum samples like 200. Alright, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more tutorials like this.